So this morning, in the next 10, 15 minutes, I want to talk to us about vision 2020. Matthew chapter 6, verses 22 to 24. Jesus is using the analogy of the physical body. He says, look, if you have a good vision, 2020 vision, normal, you have a good vision, then you have light. It's like you are in the light. You can see things clearly. But if your vision is bad, then it's like you're in darkness. Just using this physical, natural analogy. And I want to make these four statements based on these two verses, verses 22 and 23. Number one, and we're talking in terms of vision now. He says, we can say this, a clear vision brings light. Number two, a clear vision helps you know where you're going. You can see ahead of you. A clear vision keeps you from stumbling. Number four, a clear vision helps you stay focused. So I want to talk a little bit about vision and then put it in the context of our spiritual lives in a few minutes from now. When we talk about vision, and we use the word vision or dream interchangeably, synonymously. Uh, vision, we are actually referring to, especially in the, in the context of what I'm speaking to us about, we're talking about f having foresight, being able to see, having foresight of where you're going, why you're going there, and how to get there. The why is very important. Because the why is what compels you. It's your motivator. If you don't have a strong enough why, your where may be very glamorous, but you may not be motivated enough to get there. So your why must be compelling. So where you're going, why you're going there, and how you're going to get there. That, in essence, is a clear vision. Uh, just a few other thoughts on this clear vision. A vision is often, capt often captured as a mental picture. A vision or a dream is broken down into goals. So you can just break it down. For example, your vision, you break it into three goals. Goal one, two, and three. So you break your vision into goals. And then each goal has to have certain tasks. You break it down further. We say when your goals have to be smart... That means you've got to have specific goals. You've got to be measurable. They've got to be achievable. They've got to be relevant. They've got to be time-bound. What I want to challenge us this morning is to apply this to your spiritual life. And that's what many of us may not have thought about. That I can actually apply the same thinking to my spiritual life. Have a 2020 vision for your spiritual life. A clear vision for your spiritual life for this year. But I want to challenge us. Each one of us. Have a vision for your spiritual life for this year. So let's just go through the, this whole thing. How, what would it look like? First of all, person. What kind of person do you want to become by the end of the year spiritually? What kind of person do you want to be by the end of the year? I want to be a person who talks about Jesus freely with people. And I want to help people experience God's miracle working. That's the person I want to become. So have a picture of that, of yourself doing that. That's my vision. 2020 for this year. Purpose. Why do you want to become such a person? You can have a good motivation. Well, because... I really love Jesus. And Jesus has been so good to me. I want to help others experience Jesus. That's the purpose. That's the why. Why you want to become that person spiritually. Now comes, what's the third thing? Process. How are you going to become that person? By the end of the year, how are you going to change? So what do you do? You set some goals for yourself. And this is only an example. I'm not saying everybody has to have three goals. Say, number one, my first goal is I have to grow strong spiritually. I keep growing strong spiritually throughout the year. My second goal will be I need to develop some skills to share Jesus with people. Third goal will be I also need to learn how to minister God's miracle working. So these are three goals that you might set for yourself this year. Spiritual life. If you do these things, what kind of person you want to be? Why you want to go there? Well, this is a process. I'm getting there. Let me work on it through the course of the year. 
then you will surely get somewhere by the end of the year.